Hi there, Halu here. On Monday, April 8th, I picked up my girlfriend from the airport. No footage because there was heavy traffic, and then followed the tradition of getting Jollibees for dinner. <sighs> Hello and a good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. This weekend was a weekend of laziness. Um, I did not do too much of my own personal work. In terms of work work, yep, I worked on Saturday and that was, uh, flew by, I would say. And then on Sunday, I went out with my cousin to grab some food. What I ended up doing for the rest of the day afterwards was take a nap and then play AFK Journey. It was one of those days where I needed to edit my vlog, but that didn't happen. And that sort of set off a chain reaction as to being lazy this entire past two days. So yesterday I had work to do, and which I did, but did it at a very slow pace and was also occupied with some AFK journey at the same time. As you can see, the common factor in me being lazy and procrastinating is going to be this video game I've been playing. And it's okay because I love playing games. I wouldn't be myself if I wasn't playing games. I need to play games. It just needs to happen. And then yesterday after work, I went to go pick up some flowers and then pick up my girlfriend at the airport. She is now here. Last night we got some Jolly Bees, as usual. It was delicious. But yeah, I didn't wake up and go to the gym this morning. My uh, pain has been feeling uh, really sore and difficult lately. So I think maybe I should have gone, but getting some additional rest was also quite helpful. Um, headed to work this morning, but there is extreme traffic just getting to the freeway. Hoping I will make it in time, but we'll see. Anyways, today should be a pretty normal day. I do have to go pick up my uh, tax report and get some gas during lunch, but besides that, pretty normal day. I will catch you all later. Hi, there it is. Now lunchtime. It's already 1.44, which means I'm super late for lunch. And that was because I had to go get gas, and then I had to go get my tax refund. But then when I was there, there was a like dude that was just like talking to the tax person like forever. And I was like, come on, the hurry up. And they just kept talking about like Hawaii and like the dual plantation. And like, I was just like, hurry up. I only have only like 50 minutes for lunch. And like, they did not uh, uh, hurry up. And then like the tax person started talking to me for a very long time. And then like, I was just like, hurry up. And now, anyways, uh, today I have chicken and Jollibee's. Uh, this is a spaghetti from earlier, and then Jollibee's chicken. And then uh, I'm gonna eat it right now, and I only have five minutes to eat it, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Good morning, it is April 10th, 2024. On a very sleepy and warm, brightly lit Wednesday morning. The way to work has been filled with construction, as you might be able to hear the jackhammer outside. So, it's quite annoying to go to work these days. And I gotta find alternative routes, 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 just to be sure that I can make it to work on time. I haven't been getting up early, and that's mainly because I've been having later nights spent with my girlfriend. And I think the smartest thing to do would be to get the extra sleep as opposed to try to stick to my routine. And as I sort of wean off my normal routine and adapt to enjoying time with my girlfriend and being able to spend more time with her, but also accomplish some things that I need to do at night, I'm coming to the thought that maybe I don't need to be doing vlogs every single week and recording every single day. Nonetheless, there's not much that goes on in my days. I just go to work. I make dinner for myself. 
my parents make dinner for me. And then I film myself editing the vlog. So it's kind of redundant and uninteresting that I'm talking about the vlogs that you are watching while also showcasing that I'm editing the vlogs that you are watching. So everything is just about the vlog and nothing much is about my life in general. And I don't believe that that is good content. I don't think it is. I mean, sure, it's something. And they do feature my daily thoughts and opinions, but it doesn't really provide anyone value. It provides me some value just to look back on what I've felt, what I've thought, my old opinions, but it's not really bringing any serious value, at least not to, not what I think, to anyone else. So I may be slipping off of trying to edit every day and trying to record or say something every day because it's not always that interesting. I sound a little nasally today because uh, I think I left the humidifier on and I'm filled with snot. But anyways, today should be a pretty normal day. Just gonna go to work, do my thing. My girlfriend has plans with her friends, so that leaves me to go dinner for tonight. And once I do that, Perhaps I will hit the gym depending on how late it is. I definitely need to start moving a little bit more before Coachella happens, which is happening in two days, as I don't want to be in pain while I should be dancing. So that is it for my morning. I will see you guys at lunch. Peace. Good afternoon. It is now 1 p.m. and I was just in the Cairo's office for a little bit, getting stretched out, feeling a lot better after applying some of this like cooling gel on my leg. I'm almost, I'm almost like 75%. I still get a little pain when I bend in certain angles, but like, I'm like 75%, which is pretty good. Uh, today, oh my God, it's still so hot. <laughs> it's still so hot. Uh, today I have some bulgogi fried rice from Trader Joe's. I added uh, two eggs on top, which my napkin kind of got to. But I added two eggs on top. Look at that, look at that, bulgogi rice. Uh, today's been pretty chill, just doing my thing. And uh, talked to my tax person. So I got back like $1,700 or something like that. And then she was like, I owe 770. So I was like, why don't I get back a thousand? Turns out I got back 1700, but I owe about like 2400. So it went down to me owing 770. And then she somehow got it back to a refund of like 300 something dollars, which is great. Um, you know, I'd rather get some back than none back, right? Um, and that helps pay for my tax service, so that's pretty much taken care of. Um, but nonetheless, it is, uh, it's depressing to do taxes, man. It is like when you have your own self-employment stuff and you're making money on the side and it gets taxed, like, damn, they just take it all from you. It's not all of it, but it's still a lot of it and it, it's still very sad, so, um, yeah. Tax season is pretty depressing. Not even for the CPAs and accountants themselves, but for the people having to do it. Um, taxes suck. Nonetheless, today's a pretty good day. I figured out all those problems and I'm um, just gonna be working throughout the day. I uh, gotta go home and cook dinner for myself and probably, oh, well, tomorrow we're gonna go out for lunch because I'm not gonna be there Friday. And that is when we go to Coachella's. Um, but yeah, today is chill. Just gonna go throughout the day. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch now. Peace made some yellow Thai curry using Trader Joe's Thai yellow curry sauce that my sister bought me. I pretty much cut up a bunch of chicken thigh, threw in the sauce, and mixed together with some potatoes and veggies. And I actually enjoy the easy cooks that you can get from Trader Joe's. I used to be a Whole Foods guy, but I think I like the exclusive things from Trader Joe's better. Good morning, it is April 11th, 2024 at 8 a.m. 
I am so tired. I didn't even get up this morning at 5, but I am so tired. I don't know why. I'm, I didn't even sleep that late. I slept at like 10 o'clock something. But I am so tired. Oh. Anyways, today is my girlfriend's birthday. And it is mainly the reason why she's visiting. And I have plans to take her to the K-Town Crab House today to enjoy some raw marinated crab. That's just about it for tonight's plans. Last night I didn't do too much. I got really tired after like cooking, cleaning, and I looked at some mail afterwards. I was just tired. Long days, longer days. Yeah, today should be pretty fun. Hoping I have the energy for it. At lunch, my girlfriend also wants to join in, me and my coworkers to get some barbecue chicken. So yeah, today should be a pretty good day. I just gotta get over this tired hump of the morning first. The rest should be smooth sailing. For my girlfriend's birthday, we went to K-Town Crab House, located in Koreatown, Los Angeles, obviously. I had eaten here once before with some friends, and although seafood isn't my top priority of foods, I was very happy with what we ordered this time. We got the spicy stir-fried baby octopus mixed with veggies, which the ajima so nicely cut for us. We also got the seafood pancake, spicy raw marinated crab, and was gifted some fish head, which I did not eat. All that topped off with some terra to wash it all down. Today was finally here, Coachella day. We made some stops to the grocery store to stock up our B&B fridge and also got Sonics on the go before heading there. Ketchup? Ketchup. Let me see your burger. Little oh, baby. What is that? Little oh, baby sandwich for is little baby. Is that a Hawaiian roll? <laughs> want pickles? Yeah. <laughs> Mother! <laughs> I dropped my burger. Here's a really quick run through of our house in Yucca Valley, stocked with three bedrooms, a kitchen, foosball table, and hot tub, which took forever to heat. It was a massive B&B just for the two of us, but perfectly comfortable. It was finally time for Coachella. From my past years of going, I've always had a terrible experience getting in. So we decided to go early and beat the traffic as soon as possible. Getting in was an absolute breeze and soon we were in enjoying the festival. I didn't get too much footage because I was too busy having fun. So here's a compilation of me dancing. Credits to my girlfriend. <laughs> Saturday, day two, we decided to get brunch at a nearby spot from our B&B. We made a stop at Frontier Cafe, which was a bougie, vegetarian, vegan cafe. It had your essential caffeine fixes, but the real winner here was their sandwiches. Believe me when I tell you that this is possibly the best sandwich I ever damn had. Every bite I took I enjoyed with great pleasure as it melted away in my mouth turning into vitamins and nutrients. My girlfriend got the tuna melt oozing with perfection and I got the green dream sandwich with tempa bacon. Oh my god, I could not stop thinking about it afterwards. Once we were fueled up, it was off to Coachella for some more dancing.
Sunday, our final day at the festival, we checked out of our B&B and headed to Coachella early. It was pretty nice to be the first ones on the festival grounds as we got to enjoy everything else the event had to offer. We finally went into the RGB spiral tower thingy which gave us a beautiful sight of the entire venue. We heard crystal castles in this bar, but there was no one in there besides us. We went to see Bones, but it was the wrong Bones! We had been saving money throughout our trip, but decided to splurge a bit and try some festival food. We got a hot dog from Sumo Dog and kitchen sandwiches from Dave's Hot Kitchen. Once we were fueled up, it was back to the festival. Probably my best and favorite festival experience ever. I've been to a lot in my day and didn't think I could handle three days again, but taking it easy and enjoying it with my girlfriend was perfection. I'll cherish this year's Coachella for the rest of my lifetime. That's a wrap on our Coachella experience. Thank you for tuning in and holla at you later.